Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make one of my favorite dessert to eat during autumn season. And that's my pear almond tart. In addition to this, I'll be also making a Sunday roast dinner for Brent and I tonight. Uh, Sunday roast, if you're not already familiar with the term, is simply a roast dinner that is considered a traditional meal in uh, Britain, something I picked up while uh, we were in the UK uh, a couple months ago. It's usually consists of a roasted meat, uh, roasted potatoes with Yorkshire pudding, or Yorkshire pudding, <laughs> I should say. I don't have that, um, uh, so I substituted it with uh, with the roast uh, roasted potatoes instead. Uh, gravy, a wide range of vegetables. You can also have like broccoli, um, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, or uh, parsnips, or peas if you want, uh, which I have, but I um, have it in my freezer. But I wanted to use that one for the for another recipe uh, for a pasta dish that I wanted to make next time. Hi hey guys. So I'm just doing a little bit of uh, grocery shopping today. Pick up a few things, and then uh, we're going to be baking at home. Uh, I'm going to be making my pear and almond tart, and then we're going to cook up some dinner tonight. There are so many fresh vegetables here at the grocery store today, and I can't decide which vegetables I should add to my Sunday roast. But I think to save money, I'll just stick with the broccolini, the acorn, and the uh, potatoes. Good for winter. Winter is coming, so I need to keep my head from freezing, <laughs> from, uh, from the cold. So yeah, we're, it's gonna be winter soon. So I need I need a toque.
recipes that I'd like to show you. I'll be baking my almond pear tart and also my um, apple cake. So I'll show you those in a minute and I'll show you the ingredients that I'll be using for this recipes. These are perfect uh, dessert to make during fall season. It's very comforting food. Um, it's great to go with your coffee in the morning or maybe after dinner, your dessert, um, especially with the um, almond tart. You can put um, some vanilla ice cream on top and it's, oh, it's, it's, just, it's so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop talking now and I'll show you uh, what we'll be making. Okay, so here are the ingredients. We're gonna be baking two different things. So one is for my apple cake and the other is for my pear almond tart. Um, for the types of uh, apples I'm using, you can use for this recipe uh, a gala apples or honey crisp. Um, for today, I'm going to be using uh, honey crisp. And for the uh, almond pear tart, I'm going to be, you can use uh, bosque um, or anju. I'm going to be using the uh, anju pear. And I don't have time to make my own um, flaky pastry so I'm gonna to save time I'm gonna be using the tender flake uh, pre-made flaky pastry there's two pie shells in here so to conserve time I'm gonna be using this uh, I also have some ingredients here we've got our vanilla almond extract the almond flakes confectioner sugar or icing sugar um, the apricot jam my favorite butter which is the Tillamook butter some eggs, lemon, and some almond flour. I'm also going to be using some all-purpose flour and some um, granulated sugar. So again, these are two recipes. So I'm going to be baking the almond pear tart first. So let's go ahead and get started on that one. I'm going to be using my um, dish pan here, my baking pan. I'm going to set aside this one is going to be used for the apple cake. So we'll set that aside and we'll set aside our apples and I'll show you how I make the apple cake later on. Okay, so first off we're going to go ahead and use a uh, peeler. So we're just going to peel our pear. I've already washed these. We're going to add our sugar. So we're going to add about a cup of sugar. Okay, and then we're going to add our salt, about a one fourth teaspoon of salt. I used a pink Himalayan. You can use a kosher salt. Uh, if you like. Um, I only have Himalayan salt so that's all I have. And salt really is important in this dish sometimes because it really brings out the flavor if you add salt to your ingredients. Then we're gonna add two eggs. Okay, so we're gonna add our eggs. Almond flour, so one cup almond flour, a 
about a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. One extract, one tablespoon. I want to make it really, you can really taste the almond in here. So if you add, you can add about a half a teaspoon, but I like to add one tea, tablespoon of it. And then we'll add our vanilla extract. And we're going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. this. Our mixture is done we're just gonna set that aside and then we're gonna start slicing our pears first we're going to grease our pan our baking pan with some butter Just take pieces off of the remaining pastry and just kind of patch up all the little holes in there like so. Okay, so there. There's our pie crust. Just make sure you pinch it to the edge there so that the uh, curve of the pan mimics uh, the uh, pastry when we bake it. That's done. I'm going to poke it. Nice. We're going to take our mixture and pour it in here. You can also spread some of the uh, the apricot jam around it. Apricot jam. So that's done. Just kind of tap it and set that aside. Time, we're going to set our 
oven to 350. While that's preheating, we're going to work on our pears. dinner it's going to be bacon wrapped stuffed pork tenderloin and also some roasted potatoes and uh, and some veggies on the side I'll show you those ingredients uh, a little bit later on but uh, so last night I made my my pear almond tart it's so good I'll show you the uh, rest of that we'll be having that after our dinner for our dessert like I mentioned, I was going to um, eat that with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. So if you want to make that recipe, I'll list the um, instructions and directions on how to bake that uh, pear almond tart. It's, it's, you have to try it. It's, it's really good. And uh, so again, it goes well with vanilla ice cream. You just have to heat up the... Uh, on the tart and then scoop up some vanilla ice cream and put it on top. Oh, it's, it's so delicious. Um, so anyway, let's uh, head over here and I'll show you on the island all the uh, ingredients that I'll be using to make our dinner for tonight. Okay, so here's our pork tenderloin. It's bacon wrapped. So we're gonna be uh, baking that in the oven. I've got some uh, potatoes here. So I'm going to be roasting that, and over here I'm going to add the uh, vegetable for, it's i uh, I'm going to add to our dinner, um, broccolini. I'm going to add some butter with this, and also 
I bought this uh, duck fat so that I'm gonna roast my potatoes you can probably see here there's pictures of some potatoes so I'm gonna roast my potatoes with the uh, duck fat and then I'm gonna add a little bit of the uh, extra creamy sea salted butter with that I've got some salt and pepper to season the potatoes and also have some garlic I love adding garlic to the uh, broccolini. There's some benefits of uh, adding garlic to your dishes. Not only does it lower um, your cholesterol level, it also helps with your uh, to lower your blood pressure. So always add garlic if you can to your dish. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and wash uh, the uh, potatoes and peel them. And then I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it uh, for 375 degrees. So we're going to cook this until the internal temperature reaches about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So, oh yeah, <laughs> this is going to be our dessert afterward. We've already eaten half of this. So we're going to eat the rest of that after our dinner. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Preheat the oven. Tenderloin. So I'm going to transfer this to a flat uh, pan so that way it's easier to cook. So our pork tenderloin is ready to put in the oven. So next, I'm going to peel our potatoes. So that's done. Okay, that looks good. So you don't want to overcook your potatoes. We just want to soften them a bit and then we're going to cook it. Uh, we're going to bake it in the oven. So we're going to get our duck fat 
and then spread it in our baking dish. So we're going to make the brown gravy right now. So I just added a slice of butter on the same pan that we um, fried the vegetables in. And as soon as the um, uh, butter melted, we're going to add the um, gravy mix into the pan. And uh, then go, we're going to mix that. I'm going to add some chicken broth. You can add the broth or you can add some water. So I'm just going to keep stirring this until the gravy mix dissolves in the broth. Our pork roast is done, so we're just going to take it out of the oven, let it rest, and let it cool off for about 10 minutes before um, cutting into it. The uh, brown gravy is also done. So we're just going to transfer this into a gravy boat uh, serverware. Sausage wrapped bacon. in pork, wrapped in bacon. Yeah. <laughs> Meat lover. <laughs> You've got made this dish. Right. I can hear the potatoes sizzling. Eating early. I know, me too. It looks worth it. Broccolini. Broccolini. 
Bocalina Figaro. Magnifico. Thank you for picking that up. Dare I go for two pieces of meat? Why not? And oh, gravy. there's gravy. It's a know, little bit gravy. of gravy, just that's, for flavoring. Well, that's a lot of gravy. Yeah, right. Maybe a little for the spots, too. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. What wine should we pick? Um, oh, from um, Seaside Pearl, maybe? We do Seaside Pearl. We okay. could grab, um, we do have the Lover's Lane Cab okay. Stab. Okay. That's from last year. Cause I know okay, we yeah, we should, yeah, we should get that one. Yeah, we should. This is the Lover's Lane Cab Stab from Seaside Pearl. Okay. One of our favorites. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yours? Say when. When? this video and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and while you're at it don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well until next time take care bye bye